Hey there, Heather Boyd here and welcome to day 9 of the 10 day watercolor challenge. In this challenge we'll be doing some pretty simple designs for watercolor using all kinds of different techniques and we'll be making them in a small card size that you can turn into greeting cards or little miniature works of art. If you're participating in the challenge be sure to subscribe to my channel and join my private Facebook group in the group you can share photos of your projects for the next 10 days and if you're watching this video after the challenge has ended go ahead and join the group and share your own artwork any mixed media art is fantastic today we're making a faux stained glass mandala so what you're going to need to do is you can print out a picture of a mandala i'll put a link in the description of where to get this printout and you're going to put graphite on the back and then just trace it off with a pen and the design is going to go right through to the watercolor paper and also remember to tape down your watercolor paper to be sure that it doesn't stretch and then you can choose any colors you want the idea is to go dark around the outside and then with water on your brush pull the color towards the middle but you want it to stay light in the center part of the shapes to give the impression that the light is shining through. I have another tutorial about this technique that I will link up in the description below the video. And that's it, you wanna just do all your shapes. Don't do them right bes one beside the other until the one has dried. So kinda of jump from one area of the painting to another so the colors don't bleed together. You can leave a little bit of space in between because we are going to be outlining them with black ink, but the easiest way to do it is just to do one area and then hop over to another area of the mandala so that the colors won't bleed together. I'm really just doing very random colors here. You could blend your colors together as well. I'm not paying too much attention to it. It ends up being quite bold at the end. But the idea is to really practice that technique of stained glass so you have the light shining in the middle. So dark outline, clean your brush, get a little bit of water on it, not too much, and then you kind of pull the color towards the middle. And you can always dab some of the extra water and color out of the middle with a little rag if you like as well. So just keep going with it and making sure that the middle sections are light and the outlines are darker. And also be sure to let the colors dry before you put the next color beside it. So I did sort of one row of petals that were in the red purple family and then I'm doing a row that are more in the blue family just to give it a little bit of differentiation. And we're just gonna keep going around. You can mix different shades of blue. You could just blend different colors together. Whatever you think looks good. Like I said, this one ends up being quite bright, but you might wanna go more subtle with it as well. This actually might be really interesting to do in shades of gray with dark outlines uh, for the Mandela. But um, anything that you choose, I'm sure will be beautiful. So now I'm doing a row of green uh, sections just to give it a little bit of contrast. And then with the green, I'm mixing a little bit of yellow in the middle. So it's lighter in the middle and then just pull off the extra pigment with a clean brush. So same thing here, a little bit of green around the outside and then once you have the outline done, then you could go in with some yellow. And you'll see with the wet against the wet, they kind of blend in together. And we'll just keep going around. Now this time I did a little different. I started with yellow and then I went dark around the outside. So that way works as well. As long as your interior color is light, it still can work. And watercolor is pretty forgiving. So if you put water on your brush and just pick up some of the pigment, you can do that. Or like I said, you can also just get a sponge or a rag to pull up any extra color that you need. 
So the yellow with the green looks quite nice. It is, uh, they work well together. They blend nicely together. This is my favorite palette. It's the Stuart Semple palette, and they're all very unique uh, colors that he's developed himself. They're all patented colors, and they all have really fun names as well. So once the paint has dried, you could go in with some Indian ink and just put a little bit in a pot and with a very fine brush, you're going to outline all the outlines of the shapes and just be careful with the ink. It's permanent ink and you don't want to splotch it anywhere. And I'm just using a fine paintbrush. You can also do this with a calligraphy pen if you prefer and put different amounts of pressure on the brush so you have some areas that are uh, thinner and some that are thicker and then after you could go in and touch up the lines to make them more bold and make the little intersections a little thicker so it looks like stained glass and there you have your finished painting Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more art tutorials and join the private Facebook group to share photos of your work from all the challenges. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.